we have seen two ports are basically four terminal networks and um, the two port model is um, a model that we would like to use for the functional uh, description of the functional behavior of the amplifier. Um, but in reality, the amplifier has four nodes, so it needs three equations. And that follows from network theory, as you can see here. One node you can connect to a reference voltage, which usually we call ground. And then you can calculate the other uh, nodal voltages if you would put a current in it. And you see, I put a current in all the nodes and uh, I have node names there. You could call the voltage, calculate the voltages. And um, from this, from this network theory uh, model, you can conclude that we need a three by three matrix to describe the behavior of the network behavior of such a model. Now, this, so this method is incomplete. We have already this, uh, which is six nodes. So we need many more. We need five by five equations, which is 25 parameters. We have four two port parameters that we really need. We have common mode input impedance. That's something we usually define. We have something like a common mode voltage reaction ratio. That's what you also find in books about, for example, operational amplifiers. Then we have something like a common mode voltage gain, a gain from the common mode input to the output, the reaction factor, and the supply reaction. And that is usually what we have. So if we need 25 parameters and we have only, well, let's say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then we have not a complete description. So beware if you use amplifiers in a way that ports are used floating and that you are dealing with a number of parameters that does not cover all the situations. In those situations, you need to really define how these parameters are measured and uh, sometimes it is even not complete to work with them. You need a better model. So look for this if you are not familiar with two ports and with network theory to chapter 18.6 and of course to the amplifier section. This is about modeling of port isolation. So I'm not discussing models. I'm only showing you that currently used models are often incomplete and you have to be aware of that.